Hi, this is Jim Sens. I'm down here at Caddis Fly today. We're going to be tying up the 20 incher. Hope you guys enjoy the video and have a great day. What's the history of this fly? Uh, Chris told me to tie it. <laughs> so I did. <laughs> Alright, there you go. <laughs> That's all I know for the history of it. Uh, this is going to be on a J20 Gamagatsu, size 12. This is a 532nd tux in bead in matte black. You can do the bead and the wire for the ribbing in any color you want. I like to put down 10 wraps of 0.15 lead wire. Cinch that up. Just could basically holds the bead up where I want it. And then this is Vivas 10 knot red thread. Nip off the tag end, run this all the way down to the barb. Take two brown goose biots, put them so they're curved away from each other, line them up. You want it to be about a third to a half the length of the body. I just kind of pinch them there, get three wraps on it, and then I just bring it forward. You can nip these off at pretty much any point, but almost the length just kind of gets some bulk in there, as long as I don't flip on them. Bulks up but next to the lead. And then this is size small ultra wire in copper brown. Again, you can do the wire for the ribbing in the matching color of the bead if you wish, which I usually do if I'm doing like a copper or gold or a brass bead. I bring this all the way up to the front and then we're gonna want four peacock curls. One, two, three, four. Kind of clump them together. Nip off the tips so they're all aligned. Get rid of the brittle stuff. Hopefully the brittle stuff. It's amazing how often you tie this stuff all the way down and then you go to wrap it and one of them breaks off. Probably just put that out into the universe so it's going to happen now. And this I like to counter wrap. So I wrap it towards me and then the wire ribbing I'll wrap the other way. You can do whatever order you prefer there. I just think it's easier to get the wire off if I wrap that forward and peacock curl is super easy to take off whichever way you would wrap it because you just cut it. So, and then take your wire. You want to do uh, four to five, maybe six wraps up. I think that was five. And some of this we're going to cover up right now. Nice to have a rotary vise for, so you can just turn it upside down. You want about the width of the bead for your thorax, maybe a little bit bigger. And then I take a turkey tail and I coat it in soft tex. And I just do something that's about the hook gap, maybe a little bit smaller. That'll be our wing case. Wrap that in, wrap forward, and now tan UV ice stub. Just grab a small little bunch of it, loosely wrap it on there. A little bit more, just a smidge. And as this flies fish, this stuff will kind of start popping out and going everywhere too, which is kind of fun. Okay, next we're going to do some Hungarian partridge for our legs. Just pick your feather you like. Doesn't matter what size for the most part. I try not to pick the biggest ones out of there. I'm going to just even up the bottom part and pull back about six to eight fibers for the legs. Nip off the tip. Pull them forward and you got little legs. 
So we just tie this in with one wrap because we're going to be pulling on that stem here in a second. Take the turkey, yeah, pull that over, one wrap, and then you just pull it. So the, the legs are about the length to the tip of the hook. So you nip that off and then I just take a little tiny bit of super glue. One, one, two, three. And then take your whip finisher. So you got super glue and a whip finish on there. This, the threads on this will not unravel. You got a nice little red collar too. Let's get that one out of the way. The fish don't care, but I do. That's the 20 inch nymph.